Hi, we're gonna do a relatively quick, um, relatively challenging advanced workout. Everything is on our hands. So this workout requires um, healthy, strong wrists and healthy, strong shoulders, healthy, strong low back. This workout will increase all the health in all of those areas, the health and strength and mobility in all of those areas. Um, but you need to have a baseline strength mobility in order to accomplish this workout safely. So starting from that baseline, we have four exercises, 40 seconds each. We're gonna repeat twice. The first exercise to help warm up our shoulders a bit is starting in plank, starting in plank, nice long spine, lifted abdominals, just find your plank here before we get into the first 40 seconds. So the abdominals are lifted. Notice my shoulders are wrapped forward. I'm not sunk down through my chest. And here we go for the first 40 seconds. You're gonna lift up through your abdominals, hinge at the hips, just pull back to down dog, and then bring it forward, find your perfect plank. We are doing 40 seconds of each exercise, so that, <laughs> hi, so that we have plenty of time to go nice and slow with it. There will be, there's, there's one or two, your heart rate might get up a little, but this really isn't cardio, it's more strength training focused. I'm trying to see my little timer. We have one more. On the 20 second rest, Definitely get your hands off the ground, get weight off of your hands and your wrists, and do whatever during these 20 second rests you feel like you need to, to prepare to go into the next set. So the next exercise, starting from plank again, you're going to tuck under, opposite hand to opposite foot, coming back through your strong plank, opposite hand to opposite foot, Strong plank, 40 seconds on is the suggestion. If you need to rest before 40 seconds, by all means. And if you're feeling like a super beast today, you push up in between. I'm feeling like a baby beast. I'll do a couple push-ups. not a super beast. Last two. All right, the next exercise we're gonna go reverse. So face up and our wrists get to go into nice, deep extension here. Here we go. So fingertips face you. You're gonna press your hips up, take a little bend of the elbows, a baby tricep dip there, and then kick up and touch. It's really like the upside down version of the last exercise we did because it's opposite hand, opposite foot. Take your time, press up through that bottom arm, through that standing arm. You could always take the tricep dip out. They're still getting plenty of work in this position. Two more. Rest. The last one is my favorite. So. We'll get to it after another 10 seconds rest. Open your chest, we'll be back face down for this last variation. And here we go. You're gonna lunge forward and reach the opposite foot through. Thread it back through, step back. Lunge and thread. So that's the lower body. The upper body can reach in opposition so you get a big stretch. This one's nice to go nice and slow, really deliberate with the movement. You could also float the bottom leg. Front, out, back, back. Last two. I'm always starting towards my right. I'm a solid righty. We have a minute rest. So as we rest, go ahead and take all of your fingers through extension. You just gently 
pull back on a finger. We do a lot of flexion in our daily life, a lot of gripping, a lot of flexion, even through typing, through driving, carrying bags, all this dexterity stuff, flexion. Take your fingers through extension. Every digit. And then a little rolling of the wrists. And we're back at it. So from plank to down dog. And that was really just a 40 second rest. <laughs> but I saw the time. I was like, all right, let's go. Lengthen out. Pull it back. It's also fun with this one to play with rounding up. So scooping your abdominals, rounding up and pulling back, and then like a wave from your heels, rolling it forward. So either way, you can think of really articulating through your spine and rounding up and waving back down, or more of that pure hip hinge, shoulder hinge up and down. And give it a rest. Second variation is the thread through side kicks. Not with the lunge yet, but just straight side. This, this is the one that has the push-up option for, um, for all you beastly folks out there today. All right, here we go. Strong, strong shoulders. When your shoulders fail you, it's time to rest. Tap. Ah, tap your opposite foot. Come through. I was trying to combine the two. Tap. Okay, I've got four with a push-up. Tap. Coming out of that push-up at the top. See if you can almost push onto one hand. That's enough push-ups for me for now. And in fact, it's rest time. Tricep dips with the kick is next. Set up for it. You can do this with your fingertips facing back if your wrists really prefer it. Um, you just have to take out the tricep dip because it's a really weird angle to tricep dip from there. So if you want to tricep dip, fingers have to face you. Here we go. Press up, a little dip, and push. Little dip, push. Similar to the last one, from the bottom of the dip, it's like you push up to tap. When I said you push up from the top of the push up onto that one hand. Use that force to transition your weight over and pushing all the way through that standing tricep. Four, three, two, and one. And then my favorite to finish us off, we have the lunge step through. So weight off the wrists for another 10 seconds or so, weight off the shoulders, moving it around a little. And this is a nice one during this 20 second rest to take shoulder opener. That last exercise with the tricep dips does get some really nice opening through the shoulders, some external rotation and a little retraction through the scapula. But the other ones are very frontal here. And here we go. Actually this one, I said they're very frontal, but you get a lot going on in the shoulders on this one. You're rolling it open into some retraction and some external rotation if you want to anatomy dork with me you can just play with where that top arm goes remember the leg that steps through it can either touch down or it can float four last two Last one. So you'll see, speaking of anatomy dark, you'll see through the workout, um, I, I wore a bra top intentionally so that you could see my shoulders. I am working on them. They are definitely a work in progress. They're improved, but they are a work in progress. I have very loose shoulders and they like to wing. So I was working really hard to keep my scapula broad and flush my rib cage there. But you will see, I'll admit, and I know it, that there's a couple times when you'll see a little bit of winging happening. I'm doing my best to prevent that, to work on increasing my strength and stability through my scapula. It's one of the reasons why I'm doing this workout. Um, but you might find that for yourself. 
as well. If there's no way, like I said in the beginning, if there's really no way that you can keep your scapula broad and flush to your ribs, then this workout really isn't for you. You might try holding plank, um, doing a little bit of the plank to down dog, but to do this whole, you know, eight minute, 10 minute workout on your hands without sort of a baseline of shoulder stability, it's, it's not going to be to your advantage. Work on the shoulder stability first, and then you get to add, you know, fancy hardcore coordination and sequences to it. Hope you enjoy. Thanks.